Hey, what's going on Weavers? Tim here again. And in today's episode, we will be making a leather monkey's fist keychain. I think this turned out really great and is definitely a different look from the usual paracord monkey's fist keychain. This one looks a lot classier with the leather and overall would make a great addition to your keys. So that being said, let's get into it. In terms of materials, I'm using this square leather cord. It's got a shiny side and a more suede-like flesh side. It's not the best quality stuff, but it's what I found on Amazon, which I will have a link down below, of course. And also I'll be using a marble and a split ring. So to start this one off, I'm going to put my marble in between my index and middle finger, and I'm going to start wrapping my leather cord around my fingers vertically, all the while keeping the shiny side of the leather cord on the outside. This is a four pass monkey's fist, so I'm going to wrap four passes going away from me across the marble. After those four passes, I'm going to start wrapping horizontally perpendicular to the first set. So when you change directions, make sure you again keep the cord flat with the shiny side facing out. Do four passes again and stack the wraps neatly going upwards over the marble. Once I've done my four passes all around, I'm going to remove my index and middle finger. And then once again, switch directions and start wrapping my last set of passes going around the second set of passes, going above and below the spaces where my fingers previously were. So just get that last set in and make sure all your cords are sitting neatly with the shiny side out. If you notice any cords twisted, you can always untwist them. So with that last set done, you can now cinch all the excess cord out the long or terminal end. I'm going to be hiding the starting point of the cord underneath the second set of passes. Just be careful not to pull it all the way out. It's going to get hidden during the second round of tightening. So just work all the excess cord out, and I started with the first set of passes I wrapped, work all the slack from one end of the monkey's fist out to the long end. Using a knotter's tool or marlin spike really helps here, as pulling the leather cord can get a little tough. Now once you've done that first round of tightening, you'll most likely have to do a second round. And in this round, I'm going to very carefully hide our starting point of the cord under a set of passes and just be sure not to yank it all the way out. Complete that second round of tightening so that the monkey's fist is nice and solid. And as you can see, the starting point of our leather cord is nice and hidden now. Now with that done, we're going to add our noose knot lanyard by passing the end through the split ring. And then we're going to put a bend in it, going back towards the monkey's fist and end up back near the split ring. From there we start wrapping, and I'm going to wrap away from me, keeping the shiny side of the leather on the outside.
After a few wraps, you can start turning the entire thing and keep the cord nice and taut. Just work your way towards the monkey's fist. When you get to the end, you're going to pass your running end through the loop and make sure you left enough space for the cord to go through. Then tighten the end of the loop by pulling on the side connected to the split ring. In this case, I just used my knotter's tool to pull on it and tighten up that last loop. If you have any excess leather cord left, just snip it off with your scissors. The end of the leather should be secure in the noose knot, but if you're paranoid about it coming apart, you can always add just a tiny drop of super glue to hold it in place. Lastly, and this is optional, I have some Smith's leather balm and I'm going to apply it liberally all over the keychain. And there we have it folks, a leather monkey's fist keychain that can really add a nice touch to your keys or whatever you want to hang it from. This was a lot of fun to make and I really liked the result. So please let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Would you like to see more leather incorporated into our paracord videos? That being said, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you want access to exclusive tutorials as well as our Discord server, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video cards as well as down below. You can join for as little as $3 a month. You can also support this channel by liking the video and commenting. Also, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.